Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm opening by showing you how I pluck my frontals. This is probably the most annoying, tedious, and time consuming part of making your own wig when you're using a frontal. So I, this isn't even showing you how long it took me to tweeze this frontal. This clip was about eight minutes long and I still had to do so much more tweezing after that and I probably still need to do more. I'm just so lazy. So yes, that's what I'm showing you. Also, if you want a better reference on how to tweeze your frontal, just go to Tierra Monet's channel. She does a really good job at explaining and showing how to do it. So check her out. That's where I got my basic knowledge from. So when you're further along, this is what your wig should look like towards the middle and the top. It should look like a rectangle so that you can get that flat line when you get to the frontal. Here I have half a bundle left and as I showed you before, I was sewing through that rectangle space that I had so that once I got to the top, there would be a flat track before you get to the frontal. Here I am trying the wig on. This is the part where you should check for any adjustments you need to make, like if you need to cut some more of the lace by your ear or cut it around your ear to see if you need to bleach your closure one more time, things like that. Um, I'm just checking to see where I can sew the hair, the wig to my head. Um, if I if the cap even matches because I had a hard time with the cap this time around but these are the things you should be checking for I'm sorry if I look a little chinky um, my braids are not tight under this but my net I put a net on under it and it's kind of tight and I think I'm gonna take that off but I was trying to protect my braids oh my god I look so pale okay this is why I didn't want dark hair because it makes me it washes out my face it makes me look pale but I just really don't feel like dyeing this hair until it's closer to my birthday which is on the 23rd so I'm not gonna dye it right now but see you can see where my cap is right here so I think I'm gonna take that off also but this is just me trying it on. I haven't like finished all the little details. But I think I did a pretty good job plucking it. I'm being lazy and I could definitely pluck it some more. But I do not feel like doing that. So the lace actually stops right there. And I'm going to have to pull it because I have plenty of room to pull it. So I'll probably like mold it down right there um like i said i haven't customized it with any baby hairs or anything that's my hair under there but it's pretty good i did pretty good with the ear flap my ear flap is right here and so i'll when i mold that down it'll be fine show you the other side see you can really see my cap right there i'm gonna take that off um but yeah, turned out pretty good. Um, I also put, when I was making this, hold on. When I was making this, I also put a track on the bottom. How can I explain it? On the inside of the cap, the spandex dome cap, I put it on the inside so that if I were to pull it up, you wouldn't see the dome cap. You'll just see hair. So, let's see if I can explain it. Like, I laid it. You see I laid it under the cap where it would lay flat that way when you pull it up it's hair and not the black cap but I probably wouldn't be pulling this up and if I do I'm sure I would like finesse it where I wear a scarf or something but yeah let me show you guys how it comes on me so like I said it's 22 inches and I put most of the bundles in there I really it's already thick and heavy enough 
so I still have like a little less than half of a bundle left because it was just so much hair and my head already feels pretty heavy with this on it so So this is how much I have left. It's a little bit. And I am f about 5'7", so it stops right before my butt. I don't really count the ends, so yeah, right before my butt stops like right there. But Oh, and if you're wondering why the front is wavy and the back is not, it's because I only washed the frontal because I bleached it. So I didn't um, wash the rest of the hair yet. I'm gonna sew it down first and then I'm gonna get in the shower and wash the rest of it so it can be uniform. But yeah, just if, in case you're wondering about that. So yeah, my review of the hair so far is really good. I like that it's not like when you, when I was washing the frontal, it's not bone straight. So there is a slight tiny wave to it which I like because I like some some texture um but yeah I'm really happy with it as you can see I keep doing this to it and I'm not getting anything so and I do expect shedding I, it's not like I don't expect any shedding but this hair is like minimal to no shedding and when I say minimal I mean like one strand of hair every 60 times that I do this stroking method which I don't suggest you do all day do not do this all day because you're just asking for the hair to come out so yeah this is great it's nice and thick the ends are nice and full but this is my second purchase and so far I am just as happy as I was with the first one which was very happy so we'll see but until then, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.